G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Today is the 3rd of April uh, 2013 and this is blog post number 17. I've just recently got back from uh, Sydney and Melbourne uh, where I presented at the um, Australian Delphi User Group or ADUG uh, Symposium. So that was March uh, 21st to 22nd. Um, one, one event in Melbourne and then one in Sydney. Uh, I, 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 my, my talk was on um, Delphi REST servers with Android clients and I'll be making that available as a commercial product uh, hopefully shortly. Um, the talk went really well, uh, well received um, and there's about, <clears throat> about 50 people at each, each event uh, so it was quite pleasing. So, um, yes, I'm now an international speaker, which is uh, <laughs> quite cool. But, um, so, while I was there, uh, I, I interviewed people, in, at least in Sydney. I, 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 I didn't get around to doing uh, interviews in Melbourne. Just on, on um, what people are using Delphi for. So, uh, I'll play this for you now. I'm Michael Phillips. I um, mainly write Delphi software for pharmacies and point of sale stuff. Um, currently playing with um, still Delphi 6 and Delphi 2010 and experimenting with my own stuff for Delphi XE3 but what's out there in the field is all the Delphi 6 and 2010. Um, mainly we sort of our software is for dispensing scripts at pharmacies um, looking at drug interactions, that sort of stuff, and um, sort of the point of sale is sort of just your shop side of your pharmacy, um, maintaining sort of the inventory stocks, ordering via the internet, or that sort of thing. Excellent. Okay, thank you. My name is Vickers, I uh, work for a company called Computer Fanatics in Auckland. Um, we use Delphi to develop veterinary solutions and uh, hair solutions too. Uh, versions we use is 2007 and the Firebird database. Um, I'm also a beta tester for Mobile Studio. Um, we're using Delphi for uh, eight years. It's a really good experience. <laughs> cool, okay, thank you. Hi, my name's Frank Malcolm. Um, Delphi is not my day job, it's something totally different, nothing to do with IT whatsoever, but uh, I do have an IT consulting business on the side, so to speak, and that's mainly a few small clients, few bespoke applications, um, some of which go back as far as Delphi 1, um, but the current version I'm using is XE2. I haven't got any plans to upgrade to XE3, there's nothing there which I think I need in the short term. Um, XE2 Exactly. Okay, so what, what, what do you want me to say? Is just, about, like, who, who you are? I'm Richard what? King from Melbourne. I work for Creative Analytics. We do software for the electricity industry, for traders, retailers, generators. Using, we just moved to XE3 from XE2, from XE, followed every version all along. We don't use anything fancy like Data Snap, we have a professional version. Um, we do a lot of putting files down from the internet, a lot of data coming in, which we uh, present using the standard T-chart that's built into Delphi. We love T-chart and we use it extensively for our products. Um, yeah, look, it works great. It's, it's um, a terrific system. We build both 32-bit and 64-bit versions now. The customers are very happy with it. We've got no worries about DLLs or a single exe. How it goes, wrapped up in an installer. Um, you know, customers can put it down in five minutes. They get a trial license, and off they go. Okay, awesome. I've been programming uh, since Turbo Pascal version 1.0, and every version of. Delphi through and we write um, software to run, run a GIS, GIS system that runs in, uh, time, in the time domain. So we're processing terabytes of time varying spatial data and drilling through both in time and space and mapping and analysis. Okay, excellent. What's your uh, favourite version of Delphi? Favourite version? 2007. Okay, cool. <laughs>
Shade on from One Solution. Uh, we use Delphi for a small temperature logging program that's our bread and butter. We sold thousands of copies of it. We're also using it for tracking items in hospitals, so huge applications but with less fights. Uh, we're currently using Delphi XE2, absolutely love it. Uh, and yes, Delphi beats the opposition hands down. What's your sort of favourite Delphi version of all time? Uh, migrating to Delphi XC2 was worth its weight in gold, but was also the biggest hurdle uh, because converting everything back to anti chars and anti strings was a headache, uh, but well worth it in the end. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, my name is Fergus Tixon from Vertronics or SRI, and um, I use Delphi XC3. Um, I've got a program I wrote called Simulator for Arduino. And, uh, I've had about maybe 10,000 downloads of that and about 2,000 paid versions. Uh, so I've got a website, vertronics.com.au, which uh, we're transferring from arduino.com.au to vertronics.com.au and uh, we've got a few uh, YouTube videos on there as well. And, um, yeah, hoping to use uh, Delphi XE3 to convert the program for uh, Mac uh, OS and iOS later on. Thanks. I'm Moz. I'm in Sydney, Australia. Um, I use Delphi at work for the Time Target product, which is a time management system, logging employees in their workplace. Eventually, we talk to a payroll system that pays people, which is always nice. Um, at home, I'm trying to get Free Pascal to build to an Arduino, which is a bit of a challenge, but it's fun. Thank you. G'day, my name is Lachlan Gemmel, and I've been working with Delphi for oh, well, a long time now. I'm in Barcadero MVP, and I do uh, work on professional uh, software packages for professional sporting clubs. Excellent. What version of Delphi? Uh, oh, there are a few. Um, the oldest one I'm using currently is Delphi 2010. The newest is for production stuff, XE2. Uh, for my own personal stuff, I'm using XE3. And sort of historically, what's your favourite version of Delphi? Um, uh, I did a lot of work in XE. Uh, got bad rap when it was released, but it was a really good one to work in uh, for over the last couple of years. Okay, awesome. Hi, I'm Grant Tunbridge. I've been using Delphi since all Windows 95 came out. First time I got my hands on 32 bits. I've got my lift monitoring product running on Delphi within about six weeks, I think, and haven't looked back. Um, I do mostly embedded stuff for lifts and uh, access controls and display systems. And, uh, I use Delphi all the time for auxiliary stuff, user interface, configuration tools. Uh, Occasional servers. And what, what, what version of Delphi are you using currently? Uh, XE2. Okay, and what would you be your favourite favorite Delphi version ever? But favourite? Uh, yeah, XE2. It's pretty nice. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah, Thanks very one much. or two things that change. <laughs> I use Delphi 2005, um, client server with uh, Asta, and I uh, have an application that tracks. Um, sterilized equipment in hospitals, which get used on patients, we produce barcodes and then use handheld uh, motor roller scanners using Windows C to track those labels all the way through to a patient so that um, unsterilized equipment doesn't get used on a patient. Okay, sorry, what was your name? Arthur. Arthur. Thanks, Arthur. G'day, I'm, I use Delphi. I'm currently okay. using Delphi yes. 2007 for work. Uh, I have a personal copy of Delphi and that's XE3, but I would say my other working version of Delphi that I use is 2010. So that's that's my game. Okay, what was your name? Colin. Colin. And what's your sort of favourite Delphi version ever? Um, ever. Ooh. I, I like 2010, but I, I'm, I'm looking at moving one of my um, apps to XE or XE2. So I might look into a bit of Firemonkey uh, in the coming future. Well, at least with XE2. Yep, go for it. Hi, I'm Paul, and I do. I actually use Delphi not as a main language, but I use it as a development language. And so I develop algorithms and then I have to translate them into a, a machine code scenario. But I use it because it's quicker to do that than actually use the development system supplied by other companies. So, so what's your primary version of Delphi? I yeah. use XE these days. I yep. found it's a good all-rounder. Though I did have hassles with Unicode translating from 2007, I think it was. Okay, awesome. Thank you. <coughs>
Okay, thanks for coming and participating in the day. Have a safe trip.